how do we be evangelical without being pushy, without knocking you on your head, be Catholic, or without kind of coming across as being doing nothing? Yes. You know, I always think uh, in this regard of 1 Peter uh, chapter 3, verse 15, where Peter says, you always have to be ready to give the reasons for the hope that is in you, for the faith and hope that you have. Be ready to share it, and yet do it with respect and gentleness, and one translation has reverence. In other words, don't beat people over the head with it. But you see, I think we have to be, I talk with my classes all the time about bringing our lives to our faith and our faith to our lives. And in many ways, that's what it amounts to. Taking your life and constantly bringing it to your faith, taking your faith and constantly bringing it to your life. And I think we have opportunities every day to, to, uh, to put our faith to work in the ordinary and every day of life. Quick story again, I was in an elevator coming down in a, in a medical building yesterday uh, with Teddy from a, 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 an appointment, and um, this woman got on who was enormously pregnant. Like, I mean, she was so pregnant. She was the most pregnant woman I've seen in a long time. So I'm standing in the elevator, and she's standing there, and Teddy is standing here. So I said to her, I bet you're having a baby. <laughs> and she said, yes, probably tomorrow. Oh. And I said, oh, okay, we close the door gently. Um, I said, well, blessings with it. And she said, oh, that's lovely. I said, blessings. And then Teddy looked at me, and I said, Teddy, I said, what's your name? And she said, Mary, whatever her name was. I said, Mary, we'll put, her on your, we'll put you on our prayer list tonight. We'll say a prayer for you. Well, the woman teared up. Yeah. Now, I mean, it was the simplest thing. This was in about an eight, ten-second elevator ride. I said to her, we'll say a prayer for you tonight. Why wouldn't I say that to her? And that way we did. You were probably saying a prayer in there that she doesn't that have the she baby there, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> elevator gets stuck in your, oh, your uh, yeah. Oh, a stuck elevator would have been like a... Um, but, poor poor but, Teddy. <laughs> yeah, but, but so we got, all got safely out of that elevator and she went on her way, but deeply grateful. Mm. I mean, I wasn't imposing, I wasn't doing the pious yeah. piffle stuff, you know, but I said, we'll say a prayer for you tonight. Yeah. And uh, I, hope, I, I, I hope she had a wonderful, beautiful baby today. But I'm just giving as an example in the incidental and the everyday. I was going through the, the, uh, the um, uh, duty-free recently. I was going for, to Dublin for some lectures, and I went up to the duty-free to check it because I was bringing a few bottles of wine, and you actually can buy cheaper Irish at Logan than you can in Dublin. And um, so I put my bottles up to bring home to my family, and the young lady said to me, so, uh, Professor Groom, uh, Dublin is your final destiny? And I said, oh, no. Oh, I said, no. She said, well, what, what, your, your final destiny. I said, oh, the, 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 the presence of God. <laughs> my, my, my final. And, she said, oh, my, and she said, oh, my God. I said, exactly. I said, heaven. I said, no, my Well, we had this huge conversation. Mm -hmm. she, burst, she said, she said yeah, I used to go to Mass, and then I gave it up altogether. I thought it was a little hokey. I said, you know, it's wonderful. You should, might try it again. We had, there was nobody behind us. We had this huge conversation about going to heaven and what's the final destiny. Meanwhile, yeah, I'm going to Dublin tonight, but that's, that's not my final destiny. <laughs> I'm simply saying every day brings opportunities to share our faith, to talk our faith, without imposing or without, as I said, you know, there's nothing more off-putting than the person at the water fountain who wants to praise Jesus and thank you, Jesus, and all the rest of it. That's not our, that's not our tradition at all. Right. And yet, taking our faith, I love Evangelii Nunciandi, where it says, and allowing it to permeate every strata mm. of our lives, to take the word. And, and Evangelii Nunciandi talks about it as a liberating and saving word, a liberating word of salvation. In other words, this, this can free people, this can save people's lives, and allowing it to permeate every strata of, of the everyday.